This is the sea, one of seven which join to girdle the globe. Over these and other waters, man has moved in his never-ending search for new horizons, new fortunes. Every great civilization has had its roots in the sea, highway of commerce, trade, exploration. When the new world was occupied, man built his greatest cities where there was easy access to the sea. New York, Boston and Montreal, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Charleston. In later years, as colonization spread inland, man searched for new waterways. And thus was born an inland empire, which grew around the largest body of fresh water in the world, the Great Lakes. 7,000 miles of coastline in the center of a continent, a vast sea, different in only one respect from the other historic seven of the world. The Great Lakes were landlocked, cut off by nature from ocean shipping. On the map, there appeared to be a passageway for ships, a natural channel, the St. Lawrence River. Here was a waterway broad and deep for hundreds of miles, the most stable river in the world in its flow, never flooding, never shifting, always maintaining its level. And yet, the St. Lawrence presented huge...